Hey guys, so I am back. It's a new month. It's November and I've got a lot of good content for YouTube this month. I have a few videos pre-filmed and I've got some ideas for videos to film in the upcoming weeks. I, I am actually on a schedule now which is pretty exciting and you can expect uploads from me weekly. So hopefully I can get the ball rolling on this and really start taking it seriously. I've kind of chiseled out a good time to film every day. Although now who knows if daylight savings time is going to change all of that. But to kick things off, I wasn't actually going to upload this one first, I was going to start into a series, but I got a few people on my Instagram requesting I make a video all about how I edit my Instagram pictures. And Instagram is my favorite social media, I actually have a few blog posts about growing it and making a theme for your account and all of that good stuff, so I'm going to link those in the down bar. But this post isn't going to be about any, or that this video is not going to be about any of that. This is all about how you can edit your Instagram pictures if you like the way I edit mine. So. Well, if I figure out how, I will put a little picture of my Instagram feed here. And I'm going to do two different ways of editing because I used to do like a, the theme where everything was really white and bright, but now as we're transitioning into like fall and winter and the colder months, I wanted to do something that first of all was going to be a little more sustainable, which I know it's pretty sustainable with snow and everything to do that, but also... I don't know, it was a lot of work making all the pictures look good and cohesive when there had to be so much white in all of them. So now I'm going with like deeper, richer hues with less of an obvious theme, but I'm still working to make sure they all still look good together. So I'm going to show you how I edited when I was using the white theme and how I edit now. Um, both of them just used two apps, ViscoCam and Snapseed, so very easy and I might be wrong, but I think they're both free. I'm like 99% sure ViscoCam is, but I'm 50-50 on Snapseed, but I think they're free. So I guess I will roll into it and show you how I edit them. It's going to be a pretty simple video. <laughs> Alright, so I've got the ViscoCam app opened here, and I'm just going to show you how I edit using my current theme first. I've already published this picture, but I thought it'd be a good one to demonstrate. And instead of using any of the filters, you're going to swipe up and go to the wrench. And this just gives you more control over how things look. So I always up the exposure, either one or two, usually two. I'll do both contrast and exposure too. But sometimes if it doesn't look good after that, I'll bring the exposure back down to one. There we go. And then I kind of just go in order of how things appear on the app. I will crop it to my liking and rotate it. And then I typically like to make my pictures cool toned so it just kind of changed the color of the grass mostly. And do a pink tint. There we go. And so that's just kind of like the before and after. And that's all I'm going to do in here so I'll save that and then hit share. More. And then it's just going to prepare it to go to Oh gosh, it's going to prepare it to go to Snapseed. And Snapseed has this awesome feature where you can select a certain color. So I'm just going to select the red. You can stretch it out so it's getting all the red. And I'll go to Saturation and just up that a bit. And that makes it a little prettier and brighter. And I just think that's really fun. And I'm going to do the same for yellow too. And... The brightness and the saturation. And see, that was really easy and it made a pretty big difference. Sometimes I'll go in, I kind of like the color of the grass as it is, but for other pictures I'd go in, change the color of the grass, you know, yada yada. There's a lot you can do. But those are the main things I do for all of my pictures is go through my visco cam process and then boost specific colors that maybe aren't the way I like them. Alright. My process for editing when I was using the white theme is actually really similar, so I'm just going to go through it really fast. It's got all the same like base steps on Visco, upping the exposure and the contrast, and it's already cropped, but I'm going to bring down the temperature, and that just makes the white look a little nicer and bring the pink up a bit. And so there's just like, it goes from like kind of the golder to the purer, brighter white. I'll accept that and then again we're going to share to, I always forget what it's called, to Snapseed. Now let us go up to Snapseed. Okay. 
And then again, I'm using the selective tool. But what I do now is I go to all the corners and select the white and just up the brightness. And it kind of gives the corners like an unrealistic brightness, but then it fades into to a more natural looking white, like it wasn't super edited. If you do the whole thing, it's just going to look overly processed, which is kind of a silly thing to say because that's what I'm doing is I'm just processing the heck out of this. But it just gives it a better finish overall if you're just doing the corners and fading in. And there we've got the difference. It's subtle, but it's just going to look a lot better with all of the other white pictures that used to be on my feed. So I'll finish there, and then real fast I'll just show you my Instagram feed. Alright, so here's what it looks like now. Oh, let's get that to focus. Here's what it looks like now. As you can see, it's kind of fall themed. I've got lots of reds going on, some yellows, browns. But you fade or scroll down and you can see where I was doing the white. Which I think it looks really nice. I didn't do it for very long at all because I got sick of it. It looks nice, but it's just kind of hard to keep up with and maintain because sometimes you take a really cool picture and then you're not able to use it because there's no way you can make it look white. And so it wasn't very fun for me to keep up with. I think it looked nice while it lasted, but it just wasn't very sustainable. And I, it's easier now because I can really put up any picture I take just so long as I edit it all the same and it looks cohesive. And I'll just show you before I started any of this. The bottom of my feed's kind of a mess. Where I was just doing lots of grids, pictures edited every which way. So yeah, you can see like as you scroll up it gets progressively better. Here is where I first started to care. And you can see it starts to look nicer. Up to where we are now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you or maybe introduced you to new features or apps that you weren't aware of before. If you liked this you can give it a thumbs up or subscribe, or both, leave a comment, you know, do what you gotta do. Um, if you use these tips, leave your Instagram URL in the down bar so I can go check you guys out. Alright, have a great month of November and the rest of your lives too, I guess. Alright, bye!